let's go over the content that we have for December, starting off with the most important one, which is the secret pack. This is the most meta warping because it's got support for what we currently consider to be the best deck, period, in Masterful Meta, and what I think is just the best deck in general. What is in this pack? Well, first of all, a lot of reprints. In fact, this box single-handedly makes building the branded deck so much better. All of these ultra rares, I'm not even joking, all of these ultra rares have some sort of place in branded. Like, let's say Nadir, right? That's a little questionable, but you can run Ecclesia, which can be summoned off Titanoclad, which can search for the Nadir, which can search for interruption in the form of punishment, which is also in the pack. Branded Lost is just good protection. It also gets a search, which is very pog. We got Branded Fusion, obviously, really good. For Courier, it's debatable to run in certain decks, but I think it's a very worthy one to two of. We got Titanoclad. This might or might not be used. It's a de it, it depends if you want to use Titanoclad. It's a big beater. That's that. That That's it, I guess. Albion, necessary if you want to use a very particular combo just using the one branded fusion in case you want to keep everything in your hand and just use the branded fusion. Some of the Albion, some of Mirror Jade, easy, quick. Mirror Jade, your win con, it's here. And Lubelion, if you have the card to discard with it, and if you're comfortable doing that, Lubelion is the choice you have to make when activating Brand Infusion. And of course, the newest card, Albalanatus. It's very funny. Let's go ahead and read this card, alright? Let's read, like Yu Yu -Oh players don't normally do. Albalanatus, the Abyss Dragon, it requires a Fallen of Albaz plus one or more Dragon Monsters, cannot be used as fusion material, and must either be fusion summoned or special summoned by sending the above cards from either player's monsters into the graveyard. So this is basically just. It's contact fusion. And in the mirror match or against Dragon Link, it's extra funny, especially your opponent summons Boreland or something. Just link it up, just, just, just put it off. It's kind of like an underworld goddess for the deck, which is very funny, but in tournament play, I am assuming this is gonna be very powerful in the mirror. Next, this card can make a number of attacks on monsters each battle phase up to the number of materials used for its summon. Again, funny, especially if your opponent put like a bunch of monsters, like Borlo Savage, Boral, and spheres or something and then once per turn to the end phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn you can add polymerization normal or fusion spell so basically search for branded fusion or super poly but again it's end phase so i think it's more beneficial if you search for the branded fusion just it's just follow up right good card overall not going to be used too often but when it does it's coming in clutch uh there's one very specific trap card that's extremely funny yeah it was branded expulsion this is the card that you need to care about. Branded Expulsion, Normal Trap, says tribute a fusion monster, then target two non-fusions that are banished and or in either graveyard, special summon both, one on each field, and if you tributed a fusion monster that mentions Albaz as a material, like all of your deck, as a material to activate this card, special summon both to your field instead. This over here, the first part where you get to summon a monster to each side of the field is so important, and this makes the Albion interaction extremely important. Important, specifically the end phase effect where you get to set a branded spell trap which will be the expulsion. The reason why is because what you want to do is you want to have a monster on field. You want to like normally normal summon the Aluber. So you normal summon the Aluber, activate branded fusion, you summon the Albion, then Albion effect, banish itself, and banish a Fallen of Albaz. You want to special summon the Mirror Jade of course, but what are you sending off the branded fusion to fusion summon into the Albion which requires a light? Here is the funnies. We're playing Ra's Disciple to floodgate our opponent. How? So, let's specifically look at this. When this card is special summoned, or summoned, period, you can summon up to two Ra's. Blah, blah, blah. All of this is useless. This is the phrase you need to know. You cannot special summon monsters except by the effect of Ra's Disciple. Fuck. Do you see what I'm seeing here? What everyone else is seeing? Look, just find any random light monster or dark monster, potentially, that is a floodgate for you. All you gotta do is then send it off via brain infusion to the graveyard, then do some shit and end up getting the Albion, Albion into the graveyard, somehow during the end phase, and set Brandon Expulsion, then just summon the thing to your opponent's side of the field. And they are currently out of outside of playing the game. Uh, otherwise, nothing else over here really raises eyebrows, but overall, this is a great pack for meta players, for people wanting to play meta. That is all that this pack is really good with. It gives you your weird, what do you call, underworld goddess, and it gives you a basically barrier statue for your opponent to just land on and not do anything. But regardless, the deck is still good without it. Now it's just toxic.